Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for a, another video, another intuitive message. If this is your first time coming across the channel, then welcome. Come on in. Bring your intuition, your higher self, your spirit team, whatever you feel you need to do, your spring water, maybe with a little bit of cucumber and or lime. Sometimes that's me. So listen, whatever you feel you need to do in order to come on in and get this reading, come on in. Okay, so listen, I don't know if a lot of you saw the previous reading uh, where you had the karmic friend that was trying to block you, shadow ban you, but they were really a stand, a stalker. And in the middle of that, a King of Wands energy just showed up like really kind of impulsively, not impulsively, intrusively intervening in the middle of the reading. If you're coming back, then welcome back. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. We're just going to dive right on in. I don't know if y'all remember me saying, I'm going to put these cards to the side. So in that reading, as I was channeling that energy, a King of Wands came up like, what's good? Like in the middle of the reading, like <laughs> really just kind of deaded the whole karmic situation. And I'm like, okay, King of Wands, I feel like you need your own reading. Not a Wands energy, okay? Very passionate, uh, of age person is what I'm getting, but somebody that embodies a very young look they could look really young for their age somebody wants to invest in a divine feminine okay so here we are back on this reading because i felt um it just kind of made things complete to figure out why that energy just showed up in the middle of the reading so i was like this is a whole nother reading like these are two separate readings <laughs> needless to say holy spirit beautiful angels thank you so much for being here i hope y'all have called in y'all appropriate protection i'm just gonna dive right on in to do a short read for the okay this person got a lot to say first of all king of wands i'm gonna need you to calm down yeah maybe they feel like you're not going to take their offer there's a tower somebody's coming to a realization of something i feel like this person knows that you have a lot of suitors or men that want to offer you something okay this could be testing this person's confidence um, also you could be in this queen of swords energy, divine feminine. It's like you're looking for love, but not in the wrong places, only in the right places. Queen of swords energy. You could be celibate. Yeah. Ace of wands. Okay. You're not just, you're not just laying down with anybody. They have to have a direct connection to source, uh, like themselves, you know, over their shadows healed. Okay. This person is, uh, seeing that a lot of divine masculines are looking at you okay they could be intuitively tapping in by way of energy is what i just heard this person is saying why would you want me okay so they're feeling a little insecure nine of swords in their head who is this person is this somebody from the past they want to take a leap of faith and come in and make an offer though because honey they just showed up in that last reading like it was a thing to do like hey how you doing i'm like um King of Wands, you do realize we're in a whole nother reading. We're doing a completely separate reading. And the King of Wands was like, I don't give a damn. Like, okay. Hey there, King of Wands. What is it that you want to say? Okay. Yeah, somebody wants a victory with you. Remember, this person came up as a Leo. Leo energy. Okay. Heavy fire sign energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, this person is, is funny. They have a funny, light, young energy again somebody could be of age you know over the age of 35 40 whatever but they look really really good for their age knight of wands energy it's because of um just good energy keeps you young ace of swords okay this person's walking in the truth they want to tell you the truth or they've come to some type of honest feeling within themselves some type of truth and clarity okay yeah, this person's very intelligent, okay? They're thinking about the future with the Three of Wands. Who is this King of Wands? What is it that they want to say to this Divine Feminine? Because I feel like this is for somebody very specific. Whoever you are, it's for you, okay? They're watching you. They could be very quiet about it. Somebody's very kind of systematic. Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning. I don't know if this is reconciliation. I don't know if this is somebody from the past, no, they're new. This is somebody new. Somebody wants you to open your heart. New love, compassion. This person is very interesting, but they're weighed down. Sagittarius energy, a lot of fire. A lot of fire in their chart. Somebody's like a real fire sign. Like, child, why are they burdened? <laughs> what 
what's going on? They feel like getting close to you could be a lot of work. Okay. There's some complexity here. Maybe something seems a bit complicated. Somebody knows they have to work to get close to you. Somebody really wants you. Piscean energy. Somebody can have fire and water in their chart. Nine of Cups. Somebody says that you're a lot of guys wishes like to be fulfilled, wish fulfillment, if you will. Okay. Whoever gets you is very fortunate. This is what this person is saying with the wheel of fortune. Child, who's can we have a conversation, Divine Feminines? Who's masculine is this? Because somebody is really in their feels. What a good guy, though, y'all. This is not a bad guy. You know, somebody's done some work on themselves. They're weighed down. Okay, somebody sees you as very beautiful, very radiant. Knight of Swords, it's like um, they want to come in. Somebody wants to come in, rush towards you. Clarify, Holy Spirit, what's going on? What does this person want to say? Yeah, it's like they're meditating, thinking. Four of Swords is like heavy in meditation, very clear, very sound in mind, gets decent uh, intuitive downloads. Okay, clarify. This person could have broad shoulders. They could work out. Okay, very well put together. The sun, child. This Leo energy is coming up real strong. This person is saying, I'm a king and I need a queen. Not want, but I need. Like, that's what I need. Somebody feels as though uh, what's going to complete them is feminine energy. Dang. Okay. <laughs> it's just like sitting here like, uh, okay, well, what's going on? Look, I got my hands curling up. I mean, my toes curling up. <laughs> yeah, what is going on? They're being real quiet about it though. Okay, they could just be kind of watching you from afar. Somebody's meditating. Okay, they're strategic. That seven of swords is not really deceptive. It's like somebody, you know, peeking from behind you know, not in a creepy way, like, ooh, brother, ooh, type of energy. No, somebody's like watching you, admiring you. Clarify this kink. Yeah. The lovers in the reverse, they're afraid that you're going to turn them down. Somebody's afraid that you're going to turn them down. Somebody, it just when they think they want to come in, it's like they pull all the way back. You make somebody really nervous. Yeah. They don't know if this is a good decision a good choice with the lovers in the reverse. Somebody feels like you're going to turn them down. Clarify, why are you feeling that way? King of Wands, the lovers in the reverse. Okay, they feel like you've got choices. Yeah, hangman energy, Piscean energy. Okay, so here's the thing. There's more than one king here. Okay, where are the other kings at? There's other kings looking at you. Okay, yeah, they are not playing. <laughs> Not a swords energy. It's like um, it's not a brawl between divine masculines, but respectfully, they are stating their interest in you, divine feminine, hangman, okay, Piscean energy. Clarify where are these other kings at. Yeah, somebody, somebody's trying to avoid conflict though. Somebody feels, somebody is definitely a divine masculine. Somebody's like, I don't fight. I don't force. I attract. Somebody doesn't want to fight, but at the same time, they're scared that you're going to turn them down with the lovers in the reverse. Somebody here is going through some type of an awakening, okay? They could feel a little defeated. Somebody wants to see if you're going to choose them as they are choosing you simultaneously. But at the same time, five of wands in the reverse, they're avoiding conflict, but they see that other men are rushing towards you. You could intimidate some of these people. That's interesting. Clarify. Can't make it up. Queen of Wands. Ooh, we. These people see you as very attractive. These people, as in these guys, these divine masculines, see you as very, very attractive. Sagittarius, Aries, and or Leo energy. Okay. Very bright. bright. Oh, child, I can't even get it out. Ooh, somebody can have difficulty getting out their words. You're very vibrant, okay? <laughs> very determined. You could come off like you don't need somebody. Maybe that's why the lovers wanted to come up in the reverse. I just couldn't bear to have the lovers in the reverse with this person feeling like they did. Like somebody's like, no, okay, maybe it's the one. No, it's not. Like somebody's really in their feels, in their head, meditating, four swords. 
child contemplating what is going on don't overthink this yeah page of cups somebody's younger there's a water sign here there's a water sign that uh that is fascinating with you divine feminine heavy piscean energy with the nine of cups the hangman neptune energy page of cups is a younger possibly a divine masculine or somebody younger they dream about you somebody's a dreamer clarify the page of cups yes yeah, a tower somebody feels like uh feels like you're not going to accept their offer that's what this tower is about you know this tower is really about confidence realization okay yeah competitive efforts amongst other confident men so somebody here is not so confident they could be going through some type of an awakening but they want you they dream and somebody's like why would she choose me clarify this king of wands why did this person say the lovers was yeah in the reverse what's going on king of wands five of pentacles you feel like this person left you out in the cold what's going on is this person from the present or the past it seems like there's some history here Mm, choices I don't know what this is uh, Aries energy two of wands progress this could be somebody that you left behind clarify there's a new king of wands and there's an old king of wands yeah somebody that you left behind in the past so that explains the lovers in the reverse but somebody's a new man so this ace of cups is reconciliation but you have a new king of wands Show me the new king of wands. There's a new king of wands that wants something with you as well. Yeah, they want to celebrate with you, okay? So this is the Leo energy. Birthday could be in July. Cancerian Leo energy. Yeah, there's a there's a Pisces up in here too. There's a Pisces masculine child that's a little bit younger, okay? They're really in their feelings. Somebody's really sitting with themselves, uh ascending somebody's going through a beautiful ascension this masculine is coming up as the high priestess so this is somebody new heavy water heavy water in their chart okay this could be this this is a lot going on somebody's saying i want to tell you so bad how i feel but i don't know if you'll you'll be open to it so somebody's in their head somebody could play out conversations a lot there's other kings here they, they they play out conversations a lot yeah this person's going through a serious awakening this person is very very spiritual whoever this person is the hierophant okay very grounded again they're coming up as the high priestess taurus earth energy virgo energy somebody's going within somebody's think heavy pisces okay listen there's a pisces masculine here that is absolutely uh, in love with you divine feminine okay somebody's thinking about family thinking about a house thinking about a home uh again they're coming up as a younger water sign energy thinking about marriage somebody's isolated going through some type of an awakening who is this who's this knight of wands king of wands who's this who's this the person from the past yeah king of swords energy this is almost in the reverse. So somebody could have been nasty to you in the past, but they want a new beginning with you. Yeah, they are desperately wanting to be with you obsessively. The devil represents desire, okay? Yeah, somebody wants to come in and make an offer for a cups. They feel like they missed out on their opportunity. So that explains the lovers in the reverse. Child, what is going on? Yeah, there's some type of communication here. There's another fire sign. There's a Leo here, possibly July. There's a Pisces here, okay? Uh, water sign, heavy water sign energy. Um, whoever this King of Wands is from the past, they've grown up or some type of change has happened. And then you got the person from the past could be a Sagittarius. This person wants to communicate with you. Clarify that. Eight of, eight of uh, who was this, Wands? Yeah. Eight of Wands energy. This fell right on top of the water sign, though. So I don't know what this is. It seems like all of these men are going through some type of an awakening. Show me the divine feminine. I feel like you're just kind of to yourself. And they feel like, yeah, this is interesting. King of Cups energy. You're in this self-love energy, balanced, feminine, 
masculine energy, not overly masculine. You know, you know, you are divine feminine. There's something very soft and caring, loving and kind about you. But there, there's a heavy water sign. Because even when I asked about you, he's coming out. Okay, Pisces, heavy Pisces. Somebody is tapped all the way in. High Priestess in the Hierophant. Who is man number two? Show us man number two. This King of Swords that was a, that was mean. Yeah, this person wants another chance. They want this wheel to turn in their favor. Somebody wants to spin the block, honey. Okay, but the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, somebody wants to spin the block. You got this younger water sign, though, coming up in strong. This person is not letting up. This person's like, this is my person. This is a new love. Somebody's like, no, you're not going back to that. <laughs> Somebody's like, no, eight of cups, walk away. Okay, let's just get into it. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Child, there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah, this is a younger person. Somebody's younger, but they're coming up as a king. But they could be a little bit younger than you, maybe by four or five years, something like that. Uh, they could look really, really young, though, for their age. You're coming up as a page. You know, the hangman, this person's in, in deep con contemplation. But they're going within something about talking to their spirit team, the hermit. This person could be in isolation. This person from the past feels like you're going to leave them behind and, who, and turn down their love offer because of something that they did in the past. But somebody is really wanting you. They want to invest. They're thinking about how you invested in them. This person is literally in the four of swords, like passed out, like thinking, isolated, ten of wands. They're weighed down because they know that somebody's about to get this good love. I'm going to be honest. Child, what is going on? What and why and where? Justice. This is good karma. Balance. You deserve this. Somebody knows that you deserve it. Child, this is too much. Ten of Cups. You're getting the Ten of Cups. Somebody's hiding their feelings with the moon, that they want the Ten of Cups with you. I feel like all these men are. I feel like they're just in their fields. Let me get more into this because I'm just curious. The guy from the past, I feel like, knows that they messed up. This King of Swords wanted to come up in the reverse. They could have been very, very nasty to you, mistreated you. Or something like that. And the lovers was in the reverse, remember? So this person's like, ain't no chance in hell this person is ever coming back. But they can't stop thinking about you. You're all they think about. They want a second chance. The Ace of Swords, they want to come in and express some type of truth to you by way of clarity. What is going on? I feel like there's another man in here because the King of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. Child, wait a minute. Where are these divine masculines located? Like, how do we run into them? Just on a commercial break. <laughs> If they're all hiding out, dang, Divine Feminine, you out here loving on yourself so good. They're shooketh. That's good. You know, a little healthy, you know, variation of shookethness is not always bad. You know, I feel like they're dotting all of their I's and crossing all their T's. I just heard they know you're not something to play with. Yeah, you're not. You're not little Miss Twinkle Toes. You know, you're not, you're not a roll in the hay. You're not a wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Somebody knows that. You're a queen. You're an empress. You're a healer. Yeah, to have you is a blessing. It's a gift. It's a whole lot more than just having sex, right? Okay. So somebody know that they got to either come right or don't come at all. It's a lot of paranoia from the person from the past. This Piscean person, though, is coming out strong. Whoo, goodness. Holy Spirit. This person wants to be with you. Yeah. There's some type of communication coming in from this Piscean person. Okay. I feel like they are going through some type of an awakening. Clarify. What's going on? This person's a little way down. Okay. But this is giving me fire sign energy. So this Pisces could have a lot of fire in their chart. Could be March. March 8th, March 10th, March 6th, March 10th. They could be working on their money, getting some type of stability. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, something like that. Planning their next move. Making a decision, traveling. They're a little stressed out though. They're working hard. Somebody's working on something yeah whoever this pisces is they're stressed out 
working on something heavy dark night of the soul energy yeah they're working somebody's building their stability this is a person that is very traditional they're a man's man somebody feels like i can't come in with nothing there is no way i'm going to approach this woman and i don't have my shit together and that's smart because somebody knows they need to have their shit together whether they're with you or not that's a wise thing to do right to be self-sufficient and then you come together and build because somebody could have in the past you know uh felt debilitated by women or doesn't want to put themselves in a position where somebody kind of has uh something over them like moving in with somebody and it's not their place or always feeling as though there's a chance that this person could have them move or leave is what i'm getting this person's emotions are coming through real real deep hierophant energy very spiritual person okay high priestess they're coming up still as a high priestess child a tower moment. They're coming to the realization of something about who they are, their feelings. They could be meditating a lot. Could be changing their diet. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Show me Mr. Pisces. <laughs> Let's weigh down a little bit. Yeah, this person is really going through it. They could have some issues with their child's mother. Some type of conflict. They call down judgment. Empress energy. Okay. They're going through something. Empress energy is a mother, a feminine. There's conflict, there's fighting, judgment, okay? This could be some type of separation, but somebody called down spiritual judgment on their relationship. At the same time, they want to move forward, and this is what's weighing them down because they know that a healthy way to move forward is closing out a cycle. I don't see this person just jumping with somebody else. They're absolutely letting go of some type of codependency, and they're just by themselves. At the same time, they're enamored with you. Clarify. This person sees you as somebody who is, uh, you know, somebody that helps them create balance. I don't know if you know this person, if there's a friendship or what's going on, but they're saying you keep me balanced. You keep me sound. I need your feminine energy. Yeah, somebody is very, very humble to your feminine energy because they've either they're comparing. They could be comparing something to. Uh, a situation with the feminine where there's always fighting and with you there's not yeah this person wants to come see you moving towards you there's swift action taking here with the chariot somebody's moving on somebody's making progress okay there could have been some betrayal in this person's past relationship so they could have some type of um restraint or something's pushing them back or holding them back child what is this this is deep yeah the lovers whoo this is interesting. Lord, have mercy. The lovers. Okay. Somebody thinks about you all the time. Whatever this is, when they think about you, they get happy. Something about you being a happy part of their life. You're, you're a part of their life that keeps them happy or makes them happy. The will of fortune. They see a lot of great things with you. Somebody wants to share life with you, celebrate with you. Yeah, this person's a protector too. This person prays for you, Ace of Wands. I feel like they know they have a cycle that they still need to close out, but they want to come in and make some type of offer. Knight of Pentacles. It's not much, but it's coming from a very pure space. But this person is absolutely going through some type of an awakening, heavy awakening, coming to the realization of who they are. Um, could be still dealing with some things from their childhood. But nevertheless, coming up as the high priestess and the hierophant, child, whew, Lord have mercy. Let's just see what's going on with man number two, okay? I don't know which fire sign this is. I feel like there's a fire sign from the past that messed up. Ooh, somebody wants to come in and make an offer. Mm -hmm. Somebody messed up from the past. Who is this person? Holy Spirit, yeah, there's a tower. Somebody's coming to the realization that you ain't coming back. And this hurts. There's nobody like you, somebody says. Child, listen. Who is this person from the past? Who is this person from the past? What's going on? Current energy. They could be going through something too. Yeah, listen. They feel like they're under judgment for what they did to you. Somebody mishandled you, mistreated you. Okay. I don't know what happened, but the King of Swords came up in the reverse. Somebody was cold towards an empress. Somebody very caring. Two of pentacles. I mean, not two of pentacles. Uh, two of pentacles. Hell, they could have been juggling. That just came out of nowhere. 
Okay, coincidence? Maybe not. Maybe. Listen, let's get into it. Um, we ain't even had a commercial break, child. These downloads are so deep. Two of Wands. Somebody's at a distance. This person is not near you, okay? So you could have moved away or they could have moved away or there was something, something happened abruptly. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is giving me Atlas. It's giving me, you know, uh, send your location. <laughs> like the world, yeah, somebody traveled, somebody left. So you could have left the state. This is what this is telling me with the world and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? You moved on, okay, is what I'm getting. Yeah, maybe something to do for work or you're focused on your work. Divine Feminine, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. Somebody's isolated, celibate. You're getting a victory too. You went, you went within. Yeah, and you're protecting yourself. So you're pretty guarded against this person. This person saying, I know you will never trust me again. Four of Cups, they know this was a missed opportunity. This person can't stop thinking about you. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Oh, let me just get grounded, y'all, because I swear I'm all the way in the ethers. I'm picking up on a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Jesus. What are you going to do? Uh, show us this person. What is it that they want to say? They feel like they're under judgment. Six of Pentacles, but they want equal give and take. They've been thinking, oh my God, this person could be crying. But this person's giving that, you know, you know, I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. You know, but behind the scenes, child, they are a big old baby. Balled up in the fetus position. Show me what I need to see. Current energy. Yeah, they're going through an awakening. They could be ending relationships with people that don't serve their highest good. Death. Scorpionic energy transformation. Okay. Personal growth. You know, whenever there's personal growth, it always means that something has to be left behind. Period. They know that. In order for something to end and have a new beginning, I mean, in order for something to begin brand new, there has to be some type of an ending. So they're standing their ground. Uh, this person really wants to communicate with you. They could have thought that you would have reached out by now. Yeah, they're watching you, though. Hey there, King of Wands. Hey there, King of Wands. King of Wands is watching you. Okay, some type of, I don't know, they could be watching you while you work, okay? I don't know if they pulling up to your job, look like you jumped to another state, okay? Watching you, they're watching you work, okay? This could be energetically, Ace of Wands, it's like new beginnings, creative uh, business, something's inspiring you here, and somebody's watching that. Mm-hmm. Somebody's got mental clarity now, watching while you work. You could be in the public eye with the Page of Swords and the Eight of uh, Pentacles. Or you have some type of social media. Because with that Ace of Wands, it's like a business online or something like that is what I just felt. This person's also working on their money. They want a new beginning. They're ready to take a leap of faith and open up a new cycle. This person's in their head too. Child, what did they do? Whew. Clarify. What is going on, spirit? Show us what we need to see. The cars don't even want to come out. This person is really, really um, holding back. <laughs> this person does not want to let you know something. Yeah, they want to come towards you. Something could be blocking them or stopping them. And you know what the something is? Their fears. Clarify the chariot. They, want, they feel like you've moved on. Somebody feels like you moved on. They're watching you work. They could be also working too. Somebody has great work ethic. This person admires your work ethic, okay? They're watching you. Get to this ace of pentacles, self-sufficient. Money's coming in. Yeah, they're holding back. There's no communication with the four of pentacles. Child, clarify. What is going on, spirit? Yeah, this person is ready Listen, this person is closing out cycles and wants to come in and be your man. I want to be your man. This is what this person is saying. They do, they do, they do, honey. The world, and they close out some type of cycle, going through some type of rebirth. Child, they're under judgment. They feel like for mistreating an earth angel. Now they want to come in. What happened here, Divine Feminine? Comment down below. Let me know if this is your story. Clarify. Page of Cups. Somebody acted immaturely. 
This person feels as though they acted, you know, immature. King of Swords on you. And the reverse, too. King of Swords and the reverse is somebody that just ghosted you. Yeah. Okay. This person's got some type of addictions or this was some type of sexual encounter with the devil. Clarify the devil and the two of cups. Yeah, they betrayed you. They betrayed you. They left you out in the cold. Somebody treated you like you were nothing. Somebody knows that. They feel defeated. They feel hurt. Clarify, this person also wants to come in and tell the truth. Yeah, it's a tower. This is huge. You didn't see this coming, Divine Feminine. I don't feel like this was like a one-eye stand, a roll in the hay. This is somebody you allowed in your energy, and they were disrespectful. I'm going to be honest. Look at this. Okay? If there was an encounter with the Two of Cups, somebody betrayed you. Somebody ghosted you. They went King of Swords in the reverse on you, and this inevitably led to a tower. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, Capricorn energy. Something was very passionate. Clarify the devil. Yeah, somebody also did some type of sex magic over you. Ooh, wee, this person got a lot going on. Somebody did some type of sex magic over you and it backfired. Now they're obsessed. They could have also done something to stop you from moving forward. Clarify. Child, this is crazy. Yeah, they didn't want you to move forward. Somebody paid somebody to do some magic. Okay, that's what I just heard. So this is the big secret. This is what's holding them back. And now they're going through this awakening. This shit has backfired horribly. Okay. So now this person is like wants to be with you. But I feel like they were trying to wait for this tower to fall. It's almost like, well, let me just wait till the magic clears out. Like that. <laughs> like, oh, what? Okay. Somebody paid somebody. Six of Pentacles. They sure did. They absolutely did. They paid somebody to block you from moving forward. From stopping other people from coming towards you. Didn't want anybody else to have you. They know that this is very selfish. This is selfish behavior. Somebody fumbled you. King of Swords in the reversed you. Very nasty. Ghosted you. Betrayed you somehow. Created a tower. But they betrayed you spiritually. That's what I'm getting. This person's sad. They're hurt. Yeah, they're hurt. This person's hurt. Grieving. They could have also juggled you and they lied. They could have told you they were single and they weren't. Two of Pentacles, they had somebody else. Somebody was unfair. Yeah, this person could have been married. This person could have had a family. Could have been a Virgo that they were with or somebody was pregnant. Not a Wands. They had a couple of people. This person is saying there's something very special about you. Wow, this is crazy. King of Pentacles. This person has grown up, okay? So this person is telling me this is what happened. This could have been two years ago. I don't know why I just heard that. Three years ago? It's been some time. Some time has passed. And somebody's still thinking about you. King of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. This person was married. Or they were in a situation where um, they had a family, okay? Five of Pentacles. They could also be working on their money. Clarify the King of Pentacles. So this person was married and didn't tell you. They felt like you didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve it. Whatever's going on, there's some type of separation. That could also represent the judgment. There could be some type of separation, divorce. If they weren't married, they were with somebody that they were in a family with, damn near. Okay, period. Common law. There's conflict, though. They're fighting. Okay? Okay. Clarify the five of swords for uh, these people or whoever this is. Yeah. You could also have some type of like fallout with this person or maybe it was just a given. I don't, I feel like it was silent but deadly. Whatever this was, is ten of swords in this tower. Yeah. Somebody's thinking about the past. Nostalgic energy. Yeah. Something about making a decision. This person took too long to make some type of a decision, but they wanted you to wait. So they paid somebody to hold you there. Okay? Somebody knows that you're a good person. The chariot wanted to come up in the reverse. That Somebody paid somebody to do some magic over you to keep you bound. Absolutely some sex magic done here. I don't know if you had an encounter with this person, but there was absolutely some type of sex magic or this person was setting their intentions as they were entering your body. Period. Okay, somebody couldn't make a decision, child. Somebody took too long. It's like shit or get off the pot. Listen, with the two of swords, somebody couldn't. Mm. 
their way down. This person's stressed out. They, they went back to their family or maybe there was something going on here. I don't know what this is. See, this is a good example of when you are in a committed relationship or a karmic situation and you decide to go outside of your relationship, don't bring innocent people in because you just racked up a whole bunch of karma. This Whoever this person was, this person was innocent. Show me the divine feminine. Yeah, you're innocent. You went somewhere and healed. You saw this coming. You knew what happened. You knew this person did magic over you too. Virgo energy. You went somewhere and you were innocent. Virgo energy is like somebody who is going through some type of an awakening, soul searching, truth, truth teller, truth seeker, going within, okay? Listening to your higher self, your consciousness. Yeah, this person put you under some type of an illusion. Could have been a love spell, could have been a sex spell, whatever this is, they didn't have to do you like that. Now they're obsessed. And they really want to have sex with you. But at the same time, they got a whole bunch going on. Still, they have yet to make a decision. Here we. Somebody wanted their cake and eat it too. It's a lot of ego here. Somebody's got a really big ego. I can't make it up. The lovers. This person's in love with you. But is it the magic or are they really in love? Because something backfired. Okay, with the magician. Clarify the lovers. Current energy. Show us the truth and truth and clarity. Please and thank you. They're way down. Yeah, this person's juggling. This person was juggling you, going back and forth. Two of Pentacles also represent somebody going back and forth in their mind, weighing the op options, excuse me, could be comparing two people. This person sees you as the Empress. You fumbled the Empress, child. You know you crazy. Okay, I just had to put my two cents in. Back to the reading. Clarify, rectify, and solidify what the hell is going on. Yeah, listen, lack of planning. Somebody didn't see that you were going to go. Somebody blocked you. Somebody wanted you blocked. So if you were having any stagnancy or a pull or you felt like you just couldn't move forward, this person was doing something energetically with the magician, the devil. They're obsessed. It's almost like, you know, very selfish energy. I'm going to be honest. Wanting to possess you, hold you, stop you from moving forward. Didn't want anybody else to come and um, be with you at the same time. Indecisive fighting at home but not leaving there could be children involved okay with the page of cups something about the emotions of a child but somebody wanted you to stick around until they resolved their conflicts in their personal life with somebody else and that's just not what the empress does child let me speak on behalf of the empress yeah something about a child so somebody stayed for a child but they're not happy at the same time, you have a family, so you need to stay committed or you need to figure it out or you need to work it out. But I don't ever recommend that anybody leaves somebody for somebody else. I don't even think this Empress knew. He lied to this Empress. He didn't know. This Empress didn't know because the Seven of Cups is there. So you painted some type of an illusion and you broke this Empress's heart. Three of Swords. Somebody really poured, somebody really poured into you and cared about you. I'm getting this Empress wouldn't have never been with a married man. This person saying, I'm not married. Okay, yes, but the King of Pentacles is somebody committed. I feel like he's arguing here in spiritual court. Listen, you arguing in spiritual court? Okay, yeah, marriage. Stop playing. <laughs> like, it's a marriage. You got a family, a house, a dog, a child. Listen, some type of commitment was here. You shared something with this person, finances. Okay, in my opinion, marriage is not always you signing a piece of paper. It's you being in a household with somebody person saying but the household wasn't happy okay yeah look three of pentacles third party situation you wanted to work with both you wanted to what did you want a sister wife like what is going on here ace of wands somebody has some type of idea to share their wand okay this person this person really feels like they got the d honey that they should be able to have the best of both worlds oh child what's the outcome child it's a separation it's a no it's a hell to the no this is why this person makes me crazy they're still in the tour i'm gonna be honest but they're still wishing and waiting and wanting for you don't want nobody else to have you clarify the magician and the devil magician and the devil clarify rectify solidify king of swords somebody's channeling this energy somebody's sending you this energy thinking about you projecting onto you not wanting you to move on and be happy with somebody yeah look you're coming up as a high priestess. Child, somebody's crazy. So they're sending you a lot of um, 
mental telepathy, okay? To think about them, think about me, think about us. But somebody's still in a situation. Five of Pentacles, you left this person out in the cold. I feel like they feel abandoned by you. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for this person, this fire sign. This is the King of Wands from the past. Yeah, they're losing it. They're thinking about how they abandoned the wrong person. Somebody was already having issues in their relationship. Well, you should have closed out that cycle before you started something with the Empress High Priestess. Okay, but somebody feels as though they chose the wrong person and or left the wrong person out in the cold. And this person is really going through it, y'all. But this is the thing, whether they're with you or not, somebody needs to adhere to the rules of spiritual law. And somebody violated spiritual law with the Ten of Swords. You did work on an empress, high priestess, who's very protected. This person could be going through a whole bunch of shit in their life by way of backlash because of what they tried to do to you. This person could have a lot of stagnancy, a lot of blockages because they were trying to block you, keep you there like, oh, I know you're a good person, but I don't want you to go. Let me just go back over here and figure this out for like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, nine, ten more years. Like how long? What are you, th what are you doing? And you could have figured this out, Empress. This was heartbreaking for you. You went within. And you got the hell on. What's the outcome here? I feel like there is, I don't know, this person. Whew, child. Yeah, you're walking away. You're going to continue on your journey with the Eight of Cups. You're not getting a second chance, sir. I don't know what you're doing. This magic that you got going on, you still being sneaky and deceptive and you still doing some type of magic that ain't working. Okay. You see that tower, right? You can't bind this empress, this high priestess, eight of swords in the reverse. Somebody's broken free of your illusions and your magic. So what are you doing, sir? You got to grow up. This person, I'm going to be honest, this person is very well endowed, okay? Whatever they D got on it, maybe it's gold, silver, okay? Whatever. They feel very confident in their D game. But with the empress, high priestess, you got to have more than D game, love. If you think this is what's going to hold this person, because they see you as immature, they see you as somebody that they need to protect themselves from. Hence the fact that they keep abandoning you and putting you in the five of pentacles. They're not coming back. Nine of swords, you in anxiety now because your magic backfired. I feel like this person's embarrassed because you know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like this person needed to do this. Clarify the king of, of pentacles. Yeah, they, they didn't need to do this. Look at this. Sex magic, how you doing? Knight of Wands, very immature. You're very immature. You are. You could be a full-grown man, but you're not grown spiritually. The moon is in the reverse. Does she know? Is this what you're wondering? Yes, she does. Moon in the reverse. Look, what are you doing? You never had to do that. This is what, this is what uh, in her eyes, is embarrassing. This is why she's walking away. And this is why she's putting you in the Five of Pentacles. Because she feels like whatever you did to her, by way of just lying, deceiving, you did magic, love spells, sex magic over an empress. You never needed to do that. That, in her opinion, is a reflection of your insecurity and it's not appealing to her. She sees you as somebody who's desperate. Why would you need to do that? Clarify your home life. What's going on with your home life? Don't you got a home life somewhere? Yeah. Now you're not talking to the person that you're with or there's some type of... uh. Lack of communication. Y'all could be living in the same house, but not talking. Get your stuff together. Yeah, look, eight of wands in the reverse. Frustrations, fighting, five of wands, I mean, five of swords. So now you feel like you made a bad decision. Child. Yeah. But you got a child. And you want to come in and make an offer. Nine of Pentacles is some type of child that's holding somebody together. But this person wants to come in and make some type of offer, come up out of the cold. They're embarrassed more than anything. Child, what is this? Nine of Pentacles, slow moving energy. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have got somebody pregnant. King of Cups, this person's in love with you, though. They're stubborn. Somebody's slow, but in the meantime, they feel like they can hold you with magic. They could be getting readings on you or some type of divination to see if you're with somebody and they're hoping that you don't move on. But at the same time, even if this person ends whatever situation ship they're in, they need to take at least some, some time to not be with nobody. Child, I don't recommend letting this person in your front door. 
That is a recommendation. We all have free will. Whew. So. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Close the door on this spirit. Somebody thought they were smart. Somebody was very strategic. Somebody did magic to keep you, Empress, High Priestess, in a certain position so you wouldn't go Divine Feminine, period. And they got a whole bunch of stuff going on, period. And they're watching you work, period. Period, as the young people say. Whatever this is, child, this is beyond a period. This is beyond a comma, a semicolon, an exclamation point. Child, this is ridiculous is what it is. Somebody's very immature, okay? Their biggest asset is their D. They got a big D. Let's just be honest. They know how to use it, but it's like, where's your heart at? Is your D lined up with your heart chakra? Then keep your D. You know how many big Ds it is out here? It's a whole bunch of big Ds. Put your big D in your pants, honey. This person's still in the Knight of Wands energy. So they could be still out here reckless, okay, doing the same thing to other people, but they can't get you off their mind. That's because you did sex spells, and now the only person that the magic is working on is you. Okay. Show me man number three, child. We got time today. We got time today. We got time today. What is going on, child? Somebody is a mess. Oh, yeah. Don't go back to him. I don't feel like you are. Show me a... <laughs> There's somebody new that wants to be with you. I just heard King of Swords. Okay. Could be a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy Libra energy. Why did I just hear that? Okay, well, come on in. Let's get to it. Show me man number three for Divine Feminine. Man number three. All these men are quiet, though. None of them are moving forward. They're just kind of sitting and waiting. Yeah, Aquarius energy. Somebody wants to heal something or they're healing. There's a man out here healing. I said air sign. Aquarius energy, six of swords. Somebody's transitioning. Somebody's leaving something behind. Okay, but this person is absolutely connected to the divine. They're all watching. Where are they watching from? Page of Swords, energy, curiosity. Ooh, we somebody really likes you, divine feminine. Clarify what's going on. This is a past life soul connection. Somebody saying, I remember who you are. Six of Cups. Clarify this person, this man. Ooh, we that's a grown man, honey. Ooh, I, I felt a flutter in my chest, in my heart area, in my heart region, <laughs> in my chest, in my chest area, in the demographic of my heart chakra. I felt a flutter. This is a nice guy. Emperor energy. This person's been through a lot. They've done a lot of healing. Okay. Yeah. What a nice energy, especially after Mr. What's his name? Mr. Doing Black Magic. That's not working only on him. Listen, this is nice and refreshing. It's a breath of fresh air. I like it. Two of Cups. Yeah. This person speaks the truth. Somebody's walking in their truth, living in their truth. How beautiful. Unless they want to take a leap of faith with you, honey. Somebody's a dreamer. Somebody's getting visions. Foresight. Ten of Cups. What the, What is going on? The Hierophant. Somebody's really tapped in. Direct connection to Source, honey. Ooh, who is this? Okay. How you doing, Air Sign? I feel like somebody's an Air Sign. Child, this, this person is... Listen, who is this? Who is this? Taurus Energy... Somebody's thinking divine union, making you an offer. Somebody's really tapped in. Somebody dreams about you all the time. Whew. This is getting interesting, isn't it? Maybe I should start doing more love readings. Somebody dreams about you all the time. The devil... Ooh, somebody absolutely is uh, craving you, Divine Feminine, respectfully, okay? Desiring you with the devil, okay? This person is saying, I'm still a man. <laughs> you excite me, okay? Well, hey there, Mr. Excitement. Yeah, they want to make an offer, though. Ace of Pentacles, some type of proposal, new beginning. This is a new situation, Okay, wherever this person is, they're watching you. Clarify page of swords, they're watching you. I just heard online. Yeah, they want to come in, honey. Whew, goodness gracious. 
somebody is patient, kind, not only would this be a good lover, a good provider, somebody to work with, um, they're a good friend with the two of cups. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants an equal give and take partnership, marriage proposal, connection. There's a really warm energy with this person. I don't know what it is. It's a nice energy. It's like with the emperor, they got fire with the hierophant and the emperor. Somebody knows how to pray. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. They're manifesting abundance, stability. Somebody is uh, very quiet about how they move with making their money. Okay. They're, they could be stacking money and they're just quiet. Somebody's not flamboyant. Somebody's healed. I just heard safe haven. Somebody wants you to want you to allow them to. Uh, whoo, goodness. Okay, this person got a whole bunch of heat coming up off their whole energy, sir. I'm gonna need you to have a seat in spiritual court. Clarify what's going on here, please and thank you, Holy. Mm. Okay, King of Pentacles energy. I'm getting a lot of air energy, earth energy, fire. Somebody's very balanced in all the elements. They're the emperor. They're all the kings, all of them. This person is saying, yes, I am. King of Pentacles, very grounded, very approachable, very, uh, you know, they've been through something though. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck, they know grief. They're very sensitive, empathetic, not a punk though. Balanced, feminine energy, balanced masculine energy on point okay very calm i just heard the calm before the storm king of pentacles very practical with their money stable wanting to make some type of an offer page of cups this person's dreaming about you they have a lot of visions. They think about visions, okay? Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Libra and Energy. Somebody's healed. They've healed. Three of Swords is in the upright. Somebody's been through heartbreak, heartache. They could have, they've seen a lot. Somebody's seen a lot of pain, you know? They know how to make a head over heart decision. Clarify this person. Show me what I need to see. Yeah. This person's, this person's been through it. This person knows how to sit back and see through illusions with the Seven of Cups. But this is giving me dream state with the Harmony uh, Page of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is giving me dreamer. Somebody that envisions. It's coming up as a King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm being guided to take it. And so I will. Somebody's very emotionally intelligent. King of Pentacles, Emperor, Child. Who is this? This is a real, this is a real divine masculine. Somebody's done the work. Toil and labor, they're, they're preparing themselves. Somebody's done the work. Somebody's done the work. This person avoids conflict because if they really have to bring fire by way of conflict, they're going to win. So they try to just stay calm. Somebody's like, let me be cool. Let me stay calm. This is not a punk. It's somebody that's real quiet, but don't push them. Because if he has to defend himself, he absolutely will. If he's got to defend his queen, he will. Don't touch him. Let him be. Let him stay in his little peace. With his little hierophant energy. Somebody's all the way tapped in. Put your sword down. This ain't what you want, honey. Listen, I feel you, king. Whew. This person is thinking about love and marriage and a family and being happy. Ten of Cups energy, contentment divine love and harmony this is a divine masculine divine love yeah they want to celebrate with you somebody wants marriage a home uh this is a dreamer this is what they dream about this is how they manifest they're being real quiet about it though moving strategically clarify holy spirit knight of wands energy clarify the knight of wands working somebody's excited this night of wands energy is giving me energy passion inspiration adventure yeah this person is interesting they have a lot of endurance because of what they've been through 
This not a wands, no, not a wands normally is just somebody who's kind of non-committal, but this is giving me just like a youthful energy. There's a playful side to them. They could come off real serious to a whole bunch of people, but there's a playful side to this person. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're moving in slow though. They're very patient. Somebody's very, very patient. Again, they're in this, I attract, I don't chase, but they know what they want. They know that as a man, they have to go after what they want because of what they're manifesting. This person's moving towards you. The chariot, willpower, they're coming towards you. Somehow, they want to they want to come towards you. They could be, they could just be keeping it quiet about it. Somebody's like, I know this is my person. Wow, King of Swords, here he is right here. I saw King of Swords in my third, my third eye, my mind's eye. Listen, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Heavy Libra in energy. Could be a Libra. There's Aquarius energy. Somebody's got a lot of air in their chart. Somebody's very down to earth. I just heard air and water. Heavy King of Swords, King of Cups energy. The Emperor, all the kings, honey. Whoo wee. Anything else we need to see from this person? This person's gone through a major transformation. This person is saying their birthday's in October. I'm just being honest. Scorpionic energy, they've gone through a major transformation. Okay, so this person is saying, I am a king of swords. Libra energy, scorpionic energy. Somebody's birthday could be the 13th, 7th, October 7th, 10th, 4th, 6th, something around there, 15th, the 1st, or what, the 3rd? Listen, something. I don't know. They're being real strategic, though. With the seven of swords. They don't want everybody in their business. Very mysterious with that Scorpion energy. Clarify. This person knows I'm tapping into their energy. The sun. Joy, peace, positivity. Very good energy. Good person to be around. Good person to build a life with. They're going through a rebirth. Yeah. Yeah. They're on the right end of judgment. Somebody's an earth angel. Somebody calls down judgment on unfair situations, like for real. King of Swords is like, he's holding the sword of truth. They see you as the queen of pentacles. Somebody very grounded, well-rounded, easy to get along with, stable. Somebody that can keep a beautiful home. You know, beautiful energy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well... I don't know. There's <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, somebody's manifesting. This person's just stacking their money, making plans to move towards what they want. Closing out a cycle, starting a new beginning, Ten of Pentacles. Something about wealth. This person could be waiting for some type of uh, settlement or unexpected income. Something's coming in by way of a large sum of money. Or they already have a large sum of money. It's like somebody's waiting for something. There's good news about money. Yeah, something, something in the court system, justice system. Okay, something's coming in. You know, the beautiful part about this is that all these men understand stability. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, right now, this person is not able to move forward. So money could be holding them back. But there's good news about money coming in. Mm -hmm. They feel like, yeah, something's holding them back because they don't want to come empty handed. Uh, the beautiful part, like I said, not on a material level, like somebody being materialistic, like, yeah, he got to have money. But they understand stability, whether they're with a woman or not. Real men want to be stable. They want to be able to provide, right? It's equal give and take. It's a beautiful balance, but something's holding this person back right now, okay? With the fool in the reverse. So they could be waiting on something, but something's coming into fruition by way of some money for this person. Justice, judgment. Yeah, they're holding on to their money. So right now, the money that they have is the money that they're keeping. So they're holding on to it, okay? Very financially responsible, a little frugal, okay? But they're smart. Yeah, somebody's not overindulgent. They're not overspending. They're smart. This money is coming. Maybe they thought it was going to come already. And so how, somehow they feel like this is preventing them from moving forward. But something, yeah, something with the justice system. 
something with the justice system. Something's been taking a while. Something makes this person feel kind of stuck. But overall, spiritually, child, this is a good guy. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody owes him something. Whatever this is, it's going to be a long time. Like long money, big money. Somebody's waiting on some big money. Where's the money for this person? Because I feel like they want to know. Where's this money? Queen of Swords energy. This is how they see you. They trust you. <laughs> By the way, P.S. This person saying you're my match. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Air sign energy. Yeah, they like the way you stand up. The both of you are mirroring one another. Interesting. The money, the money. They need something to come through for them. Show us the money for this person. Yeah. Intuitively, they know that it's coming. They don't know when. They just know it's going to be right on time. This person is trusting the divine for, by way of divine order. They're getting a payout. Six of Pentacles. Whatever this is, they're coming with it. They want to share. They humble. Uh, great humility. What a beautiful soul. That's all I can say. It's a beautiful soul. Will of fortune. And the universe is about to give them all of what they want. Because, you know, this is more than just money, money, money. They deserve whatever this payout is, number one. Number two, somebody's done the work, child. This is a beautiful man. Jesus Christ, this is a beautiful man. Oh, my goodness. I'm just getting so much warm energy, caring, loving, compassionate, patient, um, has gone through a lot, has seen a lot but doesn't look like anything of what they've gone through, okay? Yeah, somebody could be thinking about, you know, that Knight of Wands energy, maybe they got a pass. Maybe whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's not even coming up here. Somebody's forgiving themselves, forgiving everybody, forgiving people, you know? They're just um, a good person. Whew, goodness gracious. Well, Divine Feminine, no pressure. This is the message. I didn't know it would go on this long, y'all, but this is it. I don't know what I'm going to call this. The love reading? Three men? Three three situations? Time what? Three's company? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is the message. I love y'all. Listen, if it resonated, I'm happy. Okay. If you'd like to donate to the channel. Uh, what do I usually say at the end? Okay, donate. Child, but this last one? Who, who's divine masculine is this? I feel like he deserves his own reading. Like, I feel like, yeah, I want to give him his own reading. Like I did the King of Wands. Because whoever the other King of Wands is, child, I don't know who that is. You got a new King of Wands too that's watching. Could be this person because he was all the kings. But you got that King of Wands from the past that, uh-uh, mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Never, ever, 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 never again. But this person is so beautiful, y'all. Good energy. Very, very euphoric energy. I love it. I love y'all. This is the message. I hope it resonated. I love you so much. I'll see you soon in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.